Hi there, my name is Doug Burns, and in this video I'm gonna show how you can hide fields using Google App Sheet. And there's a number of different ways to hide things with an app sheet. Some of them are obvious and some of them are not so obvious. And in this video, I'm gonna cover three of those areas. So those are first, how you can hide things completely so that they don't show up anywhere in your app ever. The second way is how you can hide them in a specific view so they just don't show up within that view. And the third way is how you can hide them conditionally. In other words, in some cases, depending on what's happening within your app at a given time. And I've created a sample notes app for being able to show this. So let's dive in and take a look. All right, so this is the Google Sheet that I'm using to store my notes. I have a column for note ID, which is just for storing the internal ID that AppSheet will use for tracking that particular note, the title, which is a summary of the note, any public comments and private comments that people want to include for the note, the creator, which will be the email address of the person who created the note, and the creation date and the modification date of that note. And then in App Sheet, I have created an app from those columns and from that sheet. And you see it's got all those columns here and I've just gone in and set a few things to do things like populate the unique ID or a unique ID when a new uh, note gets created, uh, to set the user email automatically as the initial value uh, and set uh, the creation date as a date that when a new note is created as the initial value and then the modification date here as the formula so that it gets updated whenever the note gets updated. And to get started, let's create a new note. So in order to do that, I can use the preview and app sheet over here and click this plus button. And you see it comes up with a form that lets me enter in data for all those different fields that we just talked about. And the first thing we wanna do is just get rid of this note ID because it really doesn't provide any value, any helpful information for the user. It's basically just for app sheet to be able to track the, that particular note within the app. So it can basically be hidden completely everywhere in the app. So that's where we're gonna show the first thing we talked about, which is how to hide something everywhere. And you do that in the data uh, menu within AppSheet here. That's where we happen to be right now. Um, but what you wanna do is just uncheck this show right next to, the, or with that particular row within your, your data definition here. And you see that that immediately hid that. And basically that will be hidden everywhere throughout the entire app now. When you change something at the data menu level here, uh, that affects everything within the app. So again, in this particular case, that field is gone everywhere. And I can click save here and it will save my app, my uh, app, and basically I don't see that at all anymore. So that's the first thing, how to hide something everywhere. Next, we're gonna hide, talk about how to hide something for a specific view. So these three things that we have within uh, the form view right here, the creator, the creation date, and the modification date aren't super helpful in this context. I know who I am, I know what the current date is, and I know what the modification date is. So it's not something that's very useful to show to the user, so that's something I wanna hide. Before we do that, let's just finish creating this note. So I'm gonna call it note one, and I'm gonna say, public for the public comments, private for the private comments, and I'm gonna save. Okay, so it created my notes, uh, and you see I have the title and basically a, a list here with all of the columns related to that particular note. So before we go back and hide those fields within the form, it's also not very helpful to have uh, all the details of the note here. So I just wrote public and private for the comments, but it could be something that's very long and we wouldn't really wanna show that in this summary view, which is basically just a list of all the, the notes. Like you'd wanna see that when you click through to see a particular note, but you don't need to see it in this list. So let's talk about hiding within view, the second item within our list. Uh, and we're gonna just start by just showing the title and the uh, modification date and the creator within this list. So I'm going to go in this case to the view menu within AppSheet. 
And this, I'm looking at the view right now for notes within the primary navigation. So this is the primary navigation down here. This is the notes view. And within this view, what I wanna do is, is hide those columns. So the way that you can do that is going down to where it says column order here, uh, and you can click manual instead of automatic. And in addition just to letting you just edit the column order, this also lets you uh, hide columns or remove them completely from that particular view. So in this case, I wanna keep title, I wanna remove public comments, I wanna remove private comments, I wanna keep the creator, I wanna remove the creation date, and that's done. So you see now I just have those three columns there, which is what I wanted. I can save my view. I can, and now you see those aren't hidden across the board. So if I click on this, you can still see that those things show up here, but in this actual list, uh, they it only shows those three columns because I just made that change at the view level, again, using this column order aspect here. All right, and this we talked a little bit about on the form, which is available here, I wanna do the same, I wanna get rid of these three things as well. So that works the same way, except you wanna update a different view in this case. So for a particular data type, uh, the app sheet creates something automatically within the primary navigation here, and it also creates these two system generated views, which are detail, which is this view, which shows a particular record without being able to edit it, and also the form view, which is what you see in this view when you are trying to edit a record. So what I wanna do here is for the form view, I wanna remove those three columns or those three fields. So in order to do that, I click this view and it works just like that previous one. I can go down and scroll down to where it says column order, hit manual, and I want to remove the creator, creation date, modification date in this case. So save my app. All right, I'm gonna cancel out of here, but now you see I have the three columns I want in this view. When I click detail, I didn't edit that view. I didn't edit this notes detail view, so that still has all the columns, which is appropriate in this case. But when I go and edit it, I just see those three columns um, because I don't really need to see the creation and modification and creator when I'm actually editing. All right, and the third way we talked about hiding fields is conditionally. In other words, based on something that's happening within the app in a, at a particular time. So for this particular case, we only wanna show these private comments by the person who actually created the notes. So this app theoretically would be viewable by everyone within a company or everyone within a group, but we only want the note creator to be, to be able to see their own private notes that they entered there. So I want to add a conditional check here to hide that field when the person who's viewing the app or viewing the note in this particular case isn't the actual creator of the note. So the way that you can do that is going back to the data view again, and I want this to be across the board because I, don't, I want the private comments to be hidden always. Uh, not, I don't want them to show up in some views and not other views. So again, you make kind of global changes throughout the entire app at the data view here. And the way that you can add a conditional uh, option to be able to show the view is using this little uh, beaker or uh, thing, which actually represents a formula that shows up within the data table here for each one of those columns. So for private comments, I'm going to click that thing uh, and it comes up with this view and this basically will let you uh, use this uh, table down here to select columns that you want to read information from. So I want to say for this particular row that I'm interested in, I can click insert here. So it says creator. And I want to say the creator equals a function called user email. So as soon as I type, start typing there, you see that the, this user email option pops up and it says that that's the user email address. And that will provide you, in this particular case, with the user email address of the person who's currently viewing the app. So what I'm saying with this expression is, if the creator from the note, the first part of this, equals the user email address, then I want to show this 
to them, that I want to show this particular field to them. If not, I don't want to show the field to them. So that simple statement will accomplish exactly what we talked about there, that the, uh, the, this particular field for private comments will only appear for the person who originally created the notes, which again is designated by the, their email address, which was entered as the creator when they created this note. So I can click save. Uh, I'm gonna save the app again. And the way that you can easily test this when you're building your app is using this preview app as option down at the bottom here. So if I cancel out of here and I go and view my note, you see that the creator is the email address of the person in which I'm usually currently logged into, uh, logged in as, which is Doug at pliablematter.com. Uh, and because I am that person, I can see the private comments currently. If I change that, to something else like other at pliablematter.com and hit apply, you'll see that the private notes no longer appear for that. So I hope this video was helpful. And if so, I'd really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to this channel. That way you'll be notified when I post other videos about AppSheet and similar tools. And it'll also help me to grow the channel, which is something that I'm really trying to do right now. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.